Welcome to another episode of Talking About Elements, the podcast that embarks on a journey through the captivating world of chemical elements. In today's episode, we're diving into the story of Einsteinium, an element named after one of the greatest minds in the history of science. Einsteinium, represented by the symbol ES with an atomic number of 99, is a synthetic element with a unique history. It was first synthesized in 1952 by scientists Albert Giorso, Glenn Theodore, Seaborg, Ralph Arthur James, and Leon Owen Morgan at the University of California, Berkeley. The element was named in honor of Albert Einstein, the renowned physicist whose groundbreaking work transformed our understanding of the universe. Einsteinium's discovery was a significant achievement in the field of nuclear science, marking the expansion of the periodic table into the realm of synthetic elements. Einsteinium possesses several distinctive properties. It is a radioactive element with a relatively short half-life for its most stable isotope, Einsteinium-252, ES-252, which has a half-life of about 471 days. Einsteinium is a silvery-white metal that tarnishes quickly when exposed to air. It emits alpha, beta, and gamma radiation, making it challenging to handle and study. Einsteinium does not occur naturally on Earth in appreciable quantities. Instead, it is produced through artificial means, primarily in nuclear reactors or particle accelerators. The primary method for producing Einsteinium involves irradiating target materials, often uranium-238, U-238, with neutrons in a nuclear reactor. Neutron capture reactions in the target material lead to the formation of Einsteinium isotopes. The production of Einsteinium is a complex process involving precise nuclear reactions, it begins with irradiating target materials, such as U-238, with neutrons in a nuclear reactor. Neutron capture reactions in the target material transform it into various intermediate isotopes before leading to the formation of Einsteinium. Once synthesized, Einsteinium can be chemically separated from other reactor products and isolated for various scientific and practical applications. Despite its limited natural occurrence, Einsteinium has found several essential applications. Einsteinium plays a critical role in nuclear physics and chemistry experiments, helping scientists investigate the behavior of heavy elements and atomic nuclei. Einsteinium-253, ES-253, is prized for its ability to emit neutrons. It is used as a neutron source in various scientific applications, including the analysis of materials and the study of nuclear reactions. Einsteinium has been used to synthesize even heavier elements, extending our understanding of the periodic table. It serves as a crucial tool in the discovery and study of super-heavy elements. Some isotopes of Einsteinium are used as tracers in scientific and medical research, allowing scientists to track the movement of specific substances in biological and chemical systems. While not an application for peaceful purposes, Einsteinium has been used in nuclear weapons research due to its suitability for initiating nuclear explosions. In conclusion, Einsteinium stands as an element that embodies the spirit of scientific exploration and the profound impact of human ingenuity. Its synthesis and applications underscore the frontiers of nuclear science and our quest to unlock the secrets of the atomic world. As we conclude our exploration of Einsteinium, we are reminded of the enduring legacy of Albert Einstein and the transformative power of scientific discovery. The pursuit of knowledge and the application of that knowledge continue to shape our world and push the boundaries of human understanding. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Einsteinium, an element that pays tribute to one of the greatest minds in history and invites us to explore the wonders of the atomic universe. Stay curious, and stay tuned for more talking about elements in the future. Until next time.